I was out of money. I needed someone to back this or I was gonna have to shut down. I contacted some corporations, they were interested, but when it came to signing off, it never happened. I met a guy called Robbie Campbell. He was one of the top ad men in the country who had an idea that would be good for his client, Coca-Cola, and could be the lifeline we needed. How do we make Peace One Day, you know, a universally accepted across the world, you know, fantastic event? One of the things you can look at is, you know, massive corporate support. And one of the things Coke clearly wanted was a more holistic, big idea, at which point I remembered this. But it's really important at this stage that we absolutely establish what it is, what we think we're doing, what you think you are as an organisation, what you do want to do, what you don't want to do, and, you know, what, how you see this going forward. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad, but something is definitely going to happen because living on the edge cannot last for long. Through time, I think it will become more and more effective. What do you think? To come to 100%, you need a lot of time. Yes, yes. And maybe our generation won't be there living when it comes to 100%. Maybe yes. we won't see that. Yes. But I think the great thing is at least we've done something for the next generation. Yes. This is my suggestion. When you go around the world and like, find a group of people who like who do what you do uh, in their country, yeah. and go to another country and do the same thing, so it yeah. make your thing more powerful. Yeah. How old are you? 16. So you're about to leave school soon? Yeah. Will you do it for me? <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if anything's achievable until you actually try it.